Right then guys, today I'm going to be doing venison scotch eggs. Now I've seen a little bowl here, I've got three super soft boiled eggs. In the other bowl, I've got some lovely minced roe deer. And I've seasoned this up already with some salt and pepper, garlic granules, um, smoked paprika and a little bit of um, garlic. So what I'm going to do first is get a small amount of the mince and just push it out on the board. Get a little bit more. So you're kind of making a very thin burger. So I'll give that a squash down. Let's get one of these eggs in the middle. And I've made this mince really sticky. I'm going to have to start this again, guys. Sorry about this. I'll make it in my hand and I'll try and film it best I can. So, yeah, make it quite thin. And you're going to wrap your egg all the way around it to so encase it. Drawing up the gaps. Just like so. So, you get a lovely meat filled ball. So, I'm going to do the other two because it is really sticky. I thought it was going to be easier this. But let me get the other two made up and I'll be back with you. Right, I must admit, folks, I failed on that one. The mince I'd done, it was really sticky and it took quite a bit to coat the two I've got. So, unfortunately, I've only got the two, not the three. But anyway, they're going to be fantastic. So, the next step, I've got my uh, three next ingredients. So, I'm going to panne them. I've got my seasoned flour, I've got my beaten egg with a bit of milk and some panko breadcrumbs. So like normal, seasoned flour and that's salt, pepper and uh, some garlic granules. So I'm going to roll the uh, scotch eggs in the flour. Then the beaten egg. Make sure it's got a good coating on it. And then last in the panko breadcrumbs. This will give a fantastic, crispy, golden finish to it. Anyway, we need three. These are two good sized ones anyway, can't be greedy. So there we have it. So I'll leave that one in the bowl. So flour. Shake off the excess. Egg wash. Blue coated it and then breadcrumbs and the uh, spices I've made up for the mints they do smell really good and I can't wait to try these so what I'm going to do now is go and turn the fryer on I'm going to set it to 150 so get this on right and the scotch eggs are out the fryer and they're super super crispy so now we've got the moment of truth. Let me cut one in half and see if it's still running. Look at that. That is a winner. I'm really impressed with that. It's worked out well. Right then. I hope you like this one, guys. Give it a go. See you soon for another one.